got a long day of meetings and got some time to do some real work, which is good. And then this evening I'm going to an event uh, hosted by Handy. Handy are the guys that come in, they clean my apartment every week. And yeah, it should be a bit of fun to also interview the CEO, so that'll be good. It's really hot in New York now, so it's starting to get warm, humid, and smelly. Handy event now. I'm going to interview the CEO, have some drinks, have some food. Um, should be good. I don't know why the door didn't just open. It's weird. I've been using Handy since actually I moved here. It's $54 for about a two hour clean and they do everything. So clean the floors, they'll change your bedding, do all the dishes, uh, cupboards, kitchen, cookers. You lot, that $54, that allows me to go and do whatever I want. I value my time more than. $54 for two hours. They do other services as well, so like if you need to have someone come and put shelves up or do some basic DIY, you can hire somebody to do that for you as well. Now that Melissa's pregnant and I have to work a little bit longer at the moment on the projects I'm working on, it's much more easier that Handy come in every week, clean everything up, and we just start again. I think it's fantastic value for money. There are times when you don't get the regular cleaner and it's a little bit of a pain, but once you get one person on your schedule, it's fantastic. was could have just taken a train I'm kind of in the um, meatpacking district it's called it's a nice area it's got some lovely bars and shops just trying to make sure I go to the right place now you may have already gotten lost it's a common thing really yeah I walk too far west and not enough south so a little bit more walking to do Not just gonna use it. Oh, which is what I wanted to tell you guys. Welcome. <laughs> By uh, show of hands, have you guys ever been? These really nice croquettes have been deep fried. This must be my tenth one. Oh, good. Again, thank you for tonight. I've been with Handy for about now three and a half years. I rely on heavily to make sure that my apartment is clean. And it's been wonderful to hear how things are going to be going and developing. So, uh, for a quick question, you did answer it earlier, and I appreciate you if you wouldn't mind asking me again, which is, where do you see Handy going in the next two to three years? Well, thank you so much for being a customer. It's great to have your support. We started Handy five years ago with the view that the way people buy and sell services is broken. So, you think about every service you need inside your home, from home cleaners, handymen, plumbers, and it's such a broken buying experience. We started Handy to solve that. Over the last five years, we've delivered cleaning and handyman services over three million times. And what we want to do going forward is figure out how to better deliver that experience to customers. So connecting customers and pros more closely, giving our customers more insight so they can pick the professional that's right for them. So exposing them to pro profiles, ratings, reviews, just making that network, making that connection even tighter. And we're also looking at how we can expand verticals. So if you think about handyman services, the logical place to buy handyman services is when you're buying a particular piece of furniture or whether you're buying a TV. So we're looking at how we can support our customers more when they buy those services. And there's some pretty cool integrations we've been working on to better deliver an amazing customer experience. Fantastic. And what was your first job? My first job. So my very first job was a kitchen porter. So I'm from Dublin, from Ireland, and a kitchen porter is not a very glamorous job. It's where you clean pots and you stack dishes in a kitchen. And I did that in Dublin way, 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 way back. Yeah. And if you could be doing anything else, like the kind of, would you become a cleaner for handy? So I, I'm not a very good cleaner. I've discovered this recently. I've gone out, I've done some bookings. I actually did bookings way back. I've discovered that I am a pretty good handyman. I'm pretty good. I can assemble furniture, I can put a TV on a wall. I am not a very good cleaner. So if I was not running handy, I would probably be more likely to be a handyman on handy than to be a cleaner on handy. Awesome. So at the moment, um, you're very big in New York. You're pretty much 
covered quite a lot of the area. Where would you be seeing Handy maybe going next? Do you see yourself breaking out into Europe? Do you see yourself going into uh, into Canada and all the other areas in Reed? So we set this huge vision out there. It's written on the wall in our office. It's we want to deliver every service to every home. We didn't set out to build a cleaning business or handyman business. We want to make it incredibly easy for customers everywhere to buy whatever service they need inside their home. And for professionals everywhere, whether they're great cleaners or handyman or plumbers, to work flexibly wherever and whenever they want. So that's this huge, big idea. Today, we offer that service in 28 cities. So 25 here in the US, two in Canada and London in the UK. So we've really set this big vision. We're gradually looking at how we can expand that across verticals and across cities. And I think as we continue to grow the business, you'll see us expand into new geographies. So for me, Handy is very valuable because it allows me to have a nice clean apartment during the week. And then I don't have to worry about cleaning and I can go play ice hockey. That's awesome. Are you good? No, I'm terrible. Absolutely not. <laughs> um, so for you, what do you like to do in your free time? What are your hobbies and interests? So running startups in the current environment is relatively stressful. So I spend a lot of time running handy. Uh, my wife is incredibly patient. Uh, so when I'm not at home, I generally tend to spend time at, uh, at the office. But uh, when I'm not doing that, I like to spend time with her. I like to cook. Uh, I like to really figure out what are the things I can do to relax. On the weekend, I generally run, get a little bit of exercise, work off some of the stress uh, so that I'm a, a moderately more enjoyable person to be around. Wonderful. <laughs> Thank you so much for your service and your hospitality tonight has been fantastic. Thank you so much for being a customer. Thank you. Thanks. That was a really nice night. Ashim's a very nice man, very friendly, knows his business, cares about his business, and he really does care about the contractors that handy he employs as well as there's customers. I met and chatted a few other members of staff and they got some great ideas and things that they want to work on. I'm on West 4th Street. It's really complicated to get the E-Train. 